What's up guys, this is the Goon again, and this video, to continue the series, will be on how to use a sequencer window. But real quick, I just realized that I should have had you guys save the progress last time. So what we're going to do is, um, let me delete these real quick, just to kind of cover what we did. We'll right click here in the rack window. We'll go to the instruments drop down menu or sub menu or whatever create a Kong drum designer and then again below that we'll click on or right click go to the create instrument button itself um, it'll bring you to the all instrument patches uh, we selected synth poly and created an 8-bit piano which is the very first patch to select and so this is where we left off last time. To save this, you would go to your file drop down menu up here in the left hand corner. Um, save or save as. Click on that. And then you can save the song as just give it a title. You can even leave it as document one. But it would help if you guys save these or save the projects we're working on and then that way you can just pick up from where we left off and it'll save us a little bit more time. So this video is going to be about the sequencer window. Um, so I'm just gonna minimize those real quick just to kinda keep it organized. Um, to get to the sequencer window we will click on the window drop down menu and then let's Detach main mixer window. I know this isn't the window we're working with, but we'll come back to this one in the next video. Um, if you click your little Reason logo down here, I'm using Windows 8, or 7, I guess, sorry. Um, so it'll pop up with all these windows, and you want the one that's pretty much all white, has the little tick marks, the bars, and it'll actually now show you the two instruments that we created from the last video up on or on the left hand side of the actual sequencer itself and so once again we have down here our play button record button pause button um the tempo adjust section and the time signature adjust section and so what we're gonna do is um i guess we'll start with the drum beat let me see here um So, or how about this? No, 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 no. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Um, start with the drum beat. We'll select the Kong here. See how it's highlighted as opposed to the Thor now. Um, we will click up here in the left-hand corner below the drop-down menus. We have edit mode. We will click on that, and it'll bring up... Um, it's kind of like the piano roll that you would see with... Uh, one of the synthesizers, but instead it's actually all the drum samples themselves. And so to use these samples, you can either just click here to kind of get a preview of it. And so to draw in notes, if you're going to be programming all your music, what we would do is go to the pencil tool up here on the right side of where you just clicked edit mode. Select that and we will draw in how about four bars and then you can draw your notes exactly where you would like them. So we'll start with the bass or the kick drum and then do a snare drum on the little on the second tick mark and then just repeat the pattern And so, real quick, what you can do to just save you a little bit of time is highlight. Just go back to your um, selection tool. Highlight what we just drew in by clicking and dragging the box around that. We can right click on one of the notes, hit copy, and then drag your. Um, 
the little song marker to the next to bar three the beginning of bar three right click again and paste and so that's how you copy and paste and reason it will save you time especially when drawing in drum patterns or note patterns or anything that you're working with and then just another little trick or tip I guess or whatever how to use reason is we will drag this this little bar with the arrow that has the R on it we'll drag it to the end of this four bar section and then we'll come down here to the transport area where the play button is and to the right of it there's a button that says loop enable that and then it'll loop that section so it, your drum drum pattern should sound like this and so real quick too if you double click the stop button it will reset to wherever the previous marker position was in the song and so it saves you a little bit of time too so you don't have to drag it left and right all the time and so just to kind of cover what we did that's how you use um, an instrument in the sense of a drum machine uh, I guess what we'll do next is uh, highlight the Thor and since you're already in edit mode it will bring up the piano rule for the Thor so you can click on the notes individually to hear the sound and so to draw in the notes you would do the same thing as we did with the Kong select your pencil tool draw in a section and then you can draw in the notes and when you draw in the notes the length of the note will be how long the note holds for and same with the position and so that's the basics of how to draw in notes on reason um, we're gonna come back over here to our edit mode click that again and it will bring you back to the full sequencer window um, we'll go over the tools real quick just to kind of finish this video up we have an erase tool which will erase the highlighted or selected area that you click on your razor tool will cut that area where you have selected to cut the mute tool will mute the selected area so that when the song plays those note sections or notes won't actually play in the song even though they're still there magnify tool will obviously magnify the section that you're looking at and the hand tool is just used to navigate your way through the sequencer to drag it left or right and see kind of what's happening ahead of the song or you can drag it up and down to find an instrument that you're looking for so next video we'll cover the mixer window but um real quick just to finish this up we'll go up here to our file drop down menu click that again and if you clicked save as before you can just click save this time or if you want to save a different copy of this you would go with save as but go ahead and save this file and then we'll come back to it the next time we open reason so thank you guys for watching and until next time this is the goon